Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about the list of things that I always bring with me when I'm going on a road trip, so let's hop right in. The first thing that I recommend always having when you're gonna be driving for a while is a downloaded playlist. So this is kind of obvious, right? Nick and I use Spotify, but if we don't have a downloaded playlist, then we're gonna use up all of our data before we even get to our vacation destination. So it only took us one kind of like desert road trip through an area where we had no reception to realize that we needed to download things before we left the house. So we like to have a bunch of different playlists ready at any given time. We have a 90s playlist, we have kind of like a classic rock one. I'll actually link that one below. It's not one that we made, but it's one of our favorites. It's really big and it has all of our favorite artists on it. And then I also like to have some comedy stuff and then a more kind of like chilled out one. So yes, I like to have variety and I like to make sure they're downloaded before we leave the house. I always keep my huge colorful blanket in my car too because I feel like it's always just so useful. I like to put it over the back of my seat because it's really cute and I like how it looks. But it's also great if we have stuff in our back seat and we're running into a store or something, we can cover you know, all of our backpacks and stuff with it. Or if we wanna head to the beach spontaneously, we can sit on a blanket at the beach or the park or whatever. So I would definitely say always keep a big blanket with you. The next thing that I make sure that I always have with me when I'm traveling is snacks. So I feel like I'm a little bit crazier about this subject in particular than maybe other people are because I have food allergies and I can't just eat anywhere at any given time. So I like to know that I have food that I can eat with me at all times so I don't get hangry and the road trip is just smooth throughout. So right now I really am loving high protein and also like high fat snacks, full fat like avocado and olives because I I feel like when I eat those, I just need to eat a little bit of them and they keep me full when we're traveling. So like I said, I like olives and avocado. I also love hummus and vegetables. I love to cut up a ton of zucchini and carrots when we travel because I feel like those travel really well even if they're not refrigerated. I always make sure that I have the tea that I like with me and coconut milk so that even if we're out somewhere and I'm getting tea or coffee, I can add my own coconut milk. But yeah, for the most part, I try not to bring a lot of packaged food. I try just to bring like whole food that I know will keep me really full and really happy through the duration of our trip. I'll leave a link below to my Pinterest page because I like to pin a lot of my recipes there. I know a lot of you guys were asking for a video of like my camping food or like snack ideas and stuff and I just haven't come up with an interesting enough way to film and edit those. Um, and my kitchen right now isn't really great for filming. So I'm going to leave the recipes that I like in the description so you guys can go there and get some inspiration if you want. Another thing that I try to never leave the house without is my reusable coffee cup. So this is the one, oops. This is the one that I've been using currently. Before I had this one, I had a kind of bluish turquoise ceramic one that I shared in a favorites video like months ago, but that one ended up breaking, so I needed something new. And I really like this one because, I mean, without this, it's just a 16 ounce cup. And I found that when I go into places asking for hot water or coffee in here, it's so much easier than it was when I had my tumbler that was really big. And I think that's because, I mean, it says it's 16 ounces on the bottom. It's the size of a normal coffee cup, so it's not so much of an issue when I'm going somewhere and asking them to fill up my own cup. Found a place to get coffee. It's hard to do anything without coffee. No. And I found that if I go into a restaurant or a coffee shop and just hand them my cup and say, can I please have a 16 ounce coffee? They usually only end up charging me for the 12 ounce, which is the small, which is awesome. When I'm traveling, I get a lot of comfort from routines and having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee on the road is something that I really enjoy and look forward to, especially on long drives. So I found that if I have my own tea with me and then just go to a gas station and fill up my own cup with hot water. It just really relaxes me on the road and it's so easy to do. I would say if you're looking for ways to reduce your waste, 
I know I'm always looking for ways to live a more sustainable life and I feel like just bringing your own coffee cup is the simplest thing you can do to really reduce that. I know before I did this, we would just pile up and pile up disposable cups in the car and it bugged me so much. So this has been great. Nick actually has one too and it's nice to just be able to have one cup or you know two cups between the two of us to reuse on the road. So I would say that the coffee cup is the thing that I always make sure I have, but if I'm especially, you know, doing well with my planning and stuff, I'll make sure that we have utensils with us and some little reusable bags that we can go and buy trail mix in, you know, from the bulk section of a grocery store that we're traveling by. We always have water bottles also, that's another major thing. The things we always try to travel with are our reusable water bottles, our reusable coffee cup, utensils and then maybe like a bag for you know dried snacks to buy on the road or a stainless steel container and also i feel like i should add you don't need to buy separate things like this to travel with for our utensils i do have bamboo utensils that i used to take with me to work and stuff but oftentimes I'll just, you know, if I'm in a rush, I'll just grab utensils out of my kitchen drawer and just put them in a bag and call it done. Um, so you don't have to buy separate things, you can just use what you have. And the last section I'm gonna talk about when it comes to things that I always take with me when I'm road tripping is my tech stuff. So keep in mind that Nick and I travel a lot for fun, but usually when we travel, it's also for work too. So we have a lot of tech that needs to be charged at any given time. So the thing that we have that really helps us to have all of our stuff ready to go is our car's inverter. So basically, this is just a thing that we plug in to the cigarette lighter outlet thing in our center console, and it allows us to charge a bunch of things at once. I even use this thing to charge my little tiny portable water heater. Again, if we're camping or something and we don't want to build a fire, sometimes I bring that with us so that we can heat up water for oatmeal in the morning or just, you know, tea or coffee or whatever. But most of the time we use this thing to charge our drones batteries or our camera batteries and it's been such a lifesaver for us. If you're not one who needs to be charging a bunch of different things at once, it may not be necessary for you. I would say just make sure that you have a phone charger then. Um, that's another thing that we always have with us is our phone charging cord. Obviously, if you're playing music and doing navigation, you're gonna need to charge your phone. But the inverter has been a really cool thing for us just so that we have that peace of mind that we can be out shooting all day and then continue charging our stuff while we're driving to our campsite or whatever and not have to worry about, you know, when we're going to charge next. So we're in our hotel room in Cambria and clearly we've made ourselves at home. <laughs> this is all of our gear. And then water that I bought because we ran out. We had 10 gallons of water on this trip and we're out so there's that. I also got some tea because my throat hurts. And then we found this really cool organic little co-op store. So I got an avocado and we have salad in the fridge. We have some peaches in there. And then yes, all of our gear. <laughs> and then like Nick's pants on the floor, you know. That's how it goes. Other tech items that we like to travel with are a battery powered flashlight. This one's pretty cool because you can also charge your phone with it. We rarely do that, but it's good to know that that's an option if we need it. And then we love this Gorilla tripod. So I've actually had this for like going on seven years, which is crazy to me, but, and it was a gift and it was like, it's just the best gift that I've ever received because it's so useful. So it's this tripod. I'm sure you guys have seen these around, but you can kind of secure it onto pretty much anything um, to take pictures and it's so much easier than traveling with a huge tripod. So I love the Gorilla tripod. And then also we have this little attachment that you can connect your phone to. So if we wanna take a selfie that's not like up so close, we can set it up a little bit farther away. And that's also great for time lapses and just really any kind of iPhone photography situations. If we're videoing too, it's awesome. We definitely get use out of those two products. I would say the most out of our like travel camera kits. 
So those are the things that I always have with me when I travel. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you guys cannot travel without. I'd love to know. And also, if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, it's ending next week, I think, the 15th of August. Let me check. Okay, I'm picking the winner on the 17th of August. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.